The main dining room on a Royal Caribbean cruise is the focal point of the dining experience. And you might be wondering what to expect, how does it work? Well, it's not just a place to go for dinner. It's actually kind of more like an institution of eating on a cruise ship. It serves two or three meals per day, and it's part of the history of cruising that continues today. The main dining room is complimentary, but how can you prepare to have the best dining experience possible? I wanted to share an overview of how the main dining room works on a Royal Green cruise ship. That way, you know exactly what to expect. The main dining room is a large sit-down restaurant with waiter service that is included in your cruise fare. The main dining room is a multiple level dining space on all Royal Caribbean ships, spanning two to three floors, depending on the size of the ship. Of course, before you post in the comments, there are a few quantum class ships where the main dining room is split up into multiple smaller rooms, but this is definitely the exception. Complimentary and open to all cruise passengers, the dining room provides a beautiful view when looking up or down at diners around you. Royal Caribbean intentionally designed the main dining room with an upscale and elegant atmosphere. Depending on the ship, you'll find a variety of dining room themes, each with unique decor. The ambiance is designed to provide a sense of luxury in some sense, providing a more formal dining experience than you would have at the Windjammer Buffet or other complimentary venues. The beautiful views are one of the most enjoyable aspects of dining in the main dining room. Much of the main dining room offers ocean views, especially during sunset dinners, creating a stunning panoramic backdrop for your meal. Of course, provided you're sitting next to a window, sometimes your table may be more inside the dining room, but nonetheless, it's a really pretty space. One of the most common questions is, what time can you actually eat? For breakfast and lunch, guests are seated as they arrive. Signs are posted in outside the dining room that will advise the hours that it is open. It'll also be in your Royal Caribbean app and in the digital cruise compass. For dinner, the dining room opens in the evening from 5.30 p.m. to 10 p.m. Typically, your main dining dinner experience is divided into two seating options, flexible my time dining or traditional assigned dining. My time dining gives you the flexibility to choose what time you eat each evening. You'll be assigned a specific dining location on your seat pass, but other than that, the choice is up to you. My time dining commonly runs between 6 p.m. and 9.30 p.m. and it's first come, first serve. There'll be two lines, people with reservations and for those without. If you have a reservation in advance because you made it via the Royal Caribbean app or the Cruise Planner website, or you made a reservation once on board the ship, those people are seated first with preference, but the standby line will be seated as there's availability. If you have traditional dining, then you'll have a set dining time. It'll be listed on your CPAS card, and it'll be the same table, same wait staff, and same table mates every night of your cruise. And if you do have an assigned traditional dining time, it's really essential to show up on time to respect the wait staff and kitchen's planning. As they're working to feed most of the cruise's passengers, the dining room staff work on a specific schedule that you'll want to be mindful of. You can make your selection between these two dining options when you book your cruise. Make sure you select your preferred preference as this can be hard to change once you're on board. Now, if you'd picked one but want to change your mind, you can do that provided there's availability. If there's not, ask to be put on the wait list that usually comes through. With both options, there is a possibility you'll be seated with other guests. You can contact the cruise line beforehand to request to be seated at a smaller table with just your party. If you do end up with other guests, always be polite and pleasant so that everyone enjoys their meal. Next up, let's look at what's on the menu every day. Royal Caribbean cruises are renowned for their cuisine. The dining room menus are crafted to cater to a wide range of tastes, offering a varied selection of dishes. You can expect a mix of classic and contemporary dishes, including local influences based on the cruise's ports of call. The main dining room serves breakfast and dinner with a focus on the multiple course dinner. Lunches are served only on sea days. The dining room dinner menu is the most popular and common menu in the main dining room, featuring a multiple course meal with appetizers, main courses, and desserts. At the top of the menu is the chef's recommendations for each course, but you can mix and match those items from anywhere on the menu. When you place your order with the waiter, you'll be expected to order all the courses at once, so be prepared with your choice of drinks, appetizers, main course, and dessert. Royal Caribbean ships now serve a standardized dinner menu with a theme for every night. For the first night, the theme is almost always welcome aboard, which features a lot of American cuisine. The exact order of menus will vary depending on your itinerary, but this is the pattern we've observed thus far. The theme for night two is usually French night because it's offered on the first formal night of six night or longer sailings. All sailings feature the Italian night and on Caribbean sailings, the Caribbean night menu comes out on the first evening the ship stops in a Caribbean port. 
If your sailing goes to Mexico, you should expect a Mexican night menu on the first evening the ship stops at a Mexican port. A Mediterranean night menu is also offered, as well as British night and a Bon Voyage night on the last evening. Now, how can you figure out which night is gonna have which menu? Ultimately, it depends on your sailing. The best way to figure it out is to look at the Royal Caribbean app about two or three days before your sailing. If you go in there, you'll be able to preview exactly which theme is on what night. But beyond that, there's no telling is well in advance what to expect. I should also mention there is a kids menu every night of the cruise that does not change. And yes, adults can order off the kids menu because sometimes you're just in the mood for spaghetti marinara. The majority of the menu options in the main dining room are included in your cruise fare. In addition, you can order as many dishes as you like. Feel free to order more than one appetizer, main course or dessert, totally cool. There are a few menu items that cost extra though. The extra cost items are limited to three premium selections, the Chops Grill Filet Mignon, the Surf and Turf, and extra lobster on formal nights. Only one lobster is complimentary per person on the lobster night, so to speak, in the main dining room. Complimentary drinks include water, coffee, tea, juice, and lemonade. However, you will pay an extra cost for beverages such as soda, specialty coffees, mocktails, and alcoholic beverages. If you have a drink package, you can get those drinks included as the beverage package works in the main dining room. You might be wondering what you can wear inside the dining room. Royal Caribbean's main dining room generally has a flexible dress code that varies depending on the time of day. To be perfectly frank, while there is a dress code listed, in practice, it is rarely enforced, and you will see plenty of other guests dress casually. What does this mean in practice? Honestly, no one's really gonna care if you're wearing shorts. It's one of the most common questions people ask about the main dining room. And while the rules may say something, here's the reality. You're not gonna get kicked out of the main dining room for wearing shorts in it. Whether or not you should, different issue, but I'm just being real with you. During the day, more casual wear, like comfortable clothing, such as shorts, t-shirts, and sandals, is totally acceptable. In the evening, however, the dress code is listed as being more smart or resort casual, meaning slacks, collared shirts, skirts, sundresses, and closed-toed shoes are what's recommended. On formal nights, you'll have the opportunity to dress up in your finest attire. Sometimes Royal Caribbean calls us dress your best. It's the exact same difference. Some passengers even opt for tuxedos, cocktail dresses, and evening gowns. It's totally your choice as to how crazy or how formal, I should say, you want to be. No matter the day, most passengers usually dress according to the night's theme when they visit the main dining room. Let's be clear also, the dining room dress code only applies to the dining room. So when you see on the cruise compass or on the app that it's formal night, it only applies to the main dining room, no other venues, nowhere else on the ship. As I mentioned, the dress code is far less stringent than it sounds, and Royal Caribbean does not enforce the dress code much, if at all. You'd really have to show up in like a bathing suit to really be denied entry in my experience. On various theme nights, you will also find that the main dining room staff dress up for the theme and even encourage you to join in and party along with them. Again, it's an idea, it's a concept that's there, but don't follow it too strictly or feel like you're gonna be ostracized if you don't. Next up is a breakdown of how dinner works. Royal Caribbean takes pride with impeccable service, including the main dining room. Your dining room team will be attentive, friendly, and eager to accommodate your needs. Usually, you're assigned a dedicated wait staff for the length of the cruise, a waiter and assistant waiter. On your cruise, you'll get to know your wait staff and they'll get to know your dining preferences. At the beginning of your meal, the wait staff will ask if you're celebrating a special occasion. If you're celebrating a birthday, anniversary, or engagement, the main dining room staff will be happy to celebrate you and style it. You may be retreated to a special dessert, a musical serenade, or a beautifully decorated table. They'll ask you if you have any allergies and do their best to accommodate your dining needs. They can even cook your meals ahead of time if you have specific dietary restrictions. At the beginning of your dinner, the wait staff will also ensure you don't have any shows you need to schedule and that your time for that evening is accounted for. Breakfast is served every day in the main dining room and it's complimentary and served to your table just like all the main dining room meals. Let's hit a lightning round of commonly asked main dining room questions. Is there a lunch offered? Yes, lunch is offered in the main dining room on sea days only. The menu does change every day for lunch, but there is no lunch when your ship is docked. Number two, how long does it take to eat in the main dining room on Royal Caribbean? Usually you're gonna get a meal right around 75 to 90 minutes. Since their standardized menu change earlier in 2023, each main dining room meal lasts right around that 70 to 90 minute mark. Of course, you can always tell your waiter when you need to leave or cut your meal short. Can you wear jeans to the main dining room on your cruise? The answer is yes. You can wear both casual and formal clothing in the main dining room, although resort casual is closest to the dress code, but jeans are totally fine. 
And lastly, can you take food back to your cabin? And the answer is yes, you can ask your waitstaff for a plate to go, especially if you're running out of room for dessert. So there you have a breakdown of what you need to know about how the main dining room works on a Royal Caribbean cruise ship. Let me know in the comments if I missed anything and any questions you might have. If you're down below our video already, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit that little bell icon. That way YouTube lets you know when we have a brand new video to share. This has been Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com, and we'll talk again real soon.